wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update. The information we're getting regarding the rabbit hemorrhagic disease outbreak literally changes every single day, and we wanna keep everybody aware of all the information that we have. Unfortunately, within the last day or two, there was the first confirmed case in California near Palm Springs with a confirmed positive in a wild jackrabbit. This is the first case that we're aware of in California, but as we continue to see more cases in New Mexico and Arizona, unfortunately, this virus is really showing that it not only has the capability, but is very likely gonna continue to spread. Now, that being said, I do wanna just reiterate that if you live in an area where there are no confirmed cases, the overall risk to your rabbit is really, really extremely low. Uh, if you do live in an area though where there are confirmed cases or in the proximity, we just wanna reiterate the importance of taking those additional precautionary steps to just really remove and diminish any potential risk to your animal. Number one, keep your munchkins indoors. We know there's lots and lots of different things we can do with enrichment, with interacting with your animal to provide that human-animal bond stimulation that's beneficial for them and for you, but just don't take the risk of going outdoors. Two, when you come home for the day, wash your hands before and after you interact with them. Change your clothes, leave your shoes in the garage, just avoid any potential of bringing that virus into the actual household. Three, take extra precautions to disinfect their caging, uh, other things they may come in contact with. The House Rabbit Society's website, rabbit.org, has got a great list of various safe and very appropriate disinfectants that you can use. Four, avoid any interaction with other rabbits that you don't know where they've come from. If you're considering bringing a new bunny into your household, make sure they come from an area where there is no potential virus and then quarantine that animal for a minimum of 10 days before allowing them to interact with your rabbit. We're gonna to continue to work with the House Rabbit Society, the Association of Exotic Mammal Veterinarians, and other key stakeholders to not only gather information, but provide that information to you. If unfortunately you live in an area where the virus has been identified and your animal exhibits any potential clinical signs of concern, please immediately reach out to your veterinarian. Let them know what you're seeing and work with them to determine a pathway forward.